Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to the Lambiosaurus TLC for Path of Titans. Yes, you heard that right. In Path of Titans, they have recently updated or give the Lambiosaurus a tender loving care, aka TLC. So before we begin, let's go through all of the subspecies uh, along with uh, all of the abilities. So first up is the difference between the male and the female. Um, females have a paler color, whereas males have a darker shade of color. For the subspecies, subspecies we have Poseidon, which is plus three percent health recovery. Uh, Lambe, which is plus ten percent swim speed, which also looks leaner. And Magni Cristatus, which is plus ten percent stamina recovery. So this seems to be for more team play, and this and uh, this is more for solo playing. But without further ado, let's go inside and let's look at all these abilities. So before we go through the abilities, let's look, take a quick look at all the skins. So this is the standard skin. This is the jungle skin. This is the pitcher skin. This is the blue crest skin, the best one thus far from my taste. The Swamp Skin The Blue Tone Skin The Koi Skin The backer skin, if you ever bought the skin for the Lambiosaurus. The slanted skin. The bart skin. And lastly is the albino and the melanistic skin. Let's take a look at each of the abilities, starting with uh, sensors. I've already unlocked all of the abilities beforehand. So first up is a chunk of text, which is Family Chorus. You gain 10% increased stamina recovery that applies to each Hadrosauridae and Iguanodonitae die in the group up to 4 stacks. If you have Family Chorus equipped, you gain a stack for each of these two uh, families. If not, you gain a stack for each member with the ability. Um, for, my answer, for my understanding, if you have this equipped, uh, you basically will gain a stack for each of these families that are inside. But if let's say you don't have it and someone has it, uh, like for example you do not have the Family Chorus but someone else has the Family Chorus, uh, you will get the 10% stamina recovery buff. So this is more of a group, uh, more of, yeah, more of a group thing. Next up is Lone Survivor, which is 10% increase in armor and increase in maneuverability when not in a group. And last one is something new, Musician. You have a 20% faster vocal ability cooldown. And this is very new and also very important for what's to come. Next up, Front Limbs. So. The first front limb ability that you unlock automatically is Kick, which is a kick that causes medium damage. To showcase the abilities, this is the normal kick. Just a standard shuffling of legs. Next up is Dunking Kick, a kick that deals medium damage and propels you forward, provides a passive 10% swim speed increase and only usable in the water. Currently, I'm in the water. And only in the water are you able to use the dunking kick attack. So once I use it, I move forward while damaging anything in my way. 
but I also gain a small little boost forward in terms of uh, swimming. Making it possible to escape from Rexus who aren't exactly very good swimmers or anything that can't really swim that well. Up next is Metabolism, which is Herbivore and Forager. No difference. So next up is Height. When it comes to Height, the Lumbiosaur has four different Height abilities. First is Healing Presence. Resting or sleeping will increase all group members healing by 25% when, when within a 10 meter radius. Has no effect when in combat. So basically, when your group is in combat, you cannot just sleep in one corner and heal your teammates while asking your teammates to defend you. You have to be actively not, or rather you will need to not be in a fight in order for this particular uh, passive to happen. Up next is Resilient Skill, which is Increase bleed and venom healing by 30%. Up next is Protector. This increases armor by 50% to all Camptosaurus, Stru um, Struteomimus, Cantrosaurus, or Pachycephalosaurus within 75 meters. This means that you do not own, you do not need to be with your own Hadrosaurus, but you also can be with the Pachycephalosaurus, Cantrosaurus, Struteomimus, and even Camptosaurus. And last one is Streamline, which increases swim speed and swim turning speed. Up next is Legs. Legs has four abilities. First up is Brace Legs. So this ignores uphill movement decrease, while also increasing speed when moving downhill by 10%, and you reduce fall damage by 10%. A very good uh, survival ability, I would say, as this will allow you to run uphill and faster than any other creature. Next up is Long Distance Runner, which reduces your running stamina by 15% uh, standard stuff. Up next is Shove. You lunge forward and you knock back enemies. So for the Shove attack, uh, you can use it while standing sail. You can use it while walking. And you move further. And lastly, you can use it while running. Which may allows you to move a little bit further knocking anything in your way aside along with boosting yourself forward. And lastly for the legs ability is strong legs, which is less uh take 40% less knockback and 50% increase bone breaking bone break healing. Up next is back limbs. First ability is back kick. A kick attack that causes medium damage but requires slow movement to use. So, so while standing still you can use the back kick. While walking you can use the back kick. However, while running, you are unable to use a back kick. But once you start walking, you can use it immediately. Up next is Wet Feet, which increases your swim speed by 10% and also decreases your swim stamina drain by 20%. And lastly is a new ability called Rodeo Kick. It's a powerful kick that spins in a circle and causes knockback. The Rodeo Kick can be used while stationary. As you can see, you just go one circle. It can be used while walking. And it cannot be used while running. However, again, you can immediately stop pressing your shift button and use the ASAP. Next up is his tail abilities. First ability is Armored Tail, which is damage and status effect inflicted on your tail is dramatically re reduced. Next up is Tail Attack, which uh, is a standard tail attack that causes knockback. Like all tail attack abilities, this can be used while standing still, even though it has a relatively long cooldown. It can be used while walking, and it can be used while running. Oh, I mean, I mean, uh. And last of all is Paddle Tail, which increases swim speed and turn speed by 10%. Now on to the main meats or the main TLC of the Lambiosaur, the voices. As you can tell, the voices has been reduced to only one voice, but this one voice actually is a hidden three voice ability. So when you click on voices, you have the choice of these three uh, calls. However, each of these three calls actually has three more calls inside of them. And they're all categorized as combat, healing, or survival. For combat wise, you have call to arms, which is apply a 30% attack damage increase for all group members within a 30 meter radius for 45 seconds. Riding horn. Apply a 20% increase uh, in armor for all group members within 30 meters for 45 seconds. And Blaring Cry, which has all enemies within 30% deal 20% reduced damage for 30 seconds. 
You might be thinking that, oh, okay, so I only can apply one call per fight, right? And once I use one call, it will be on cooldown, correct? Wrong. So, in this case, I will, in this case, I can show you all three of the call abilities. While standing still, you can use any of it. And this is called, and this is called the arms. While walking, you can use Raining Horn. While running, uh, you can use Blaring Cry. And as you can tell, each of the calls has a cooldown on their own. And you also can stack all three of the calls ASAP. Next up is Healing Call. Also for any so, uh, any people who are hosting their own server and has the ability to allow the player to change abilities while resting out in public, uh, don't have to worry about this being too overpowered because uh, the calls are the calls cooldowns are linked. So the first call her uh, cooldown will be linked to all of the three other calls. To demonstrate you the healing calls, I took the liberty to give myself some fall damage. The first uh, ability is Primal Man, a call that increases your healing rate by eight times for twenty five seconds. Takes a hefty chunk of stamina, but once used. You can see your HP just raising all the way to full. This essentially means that the Lambiosaurus, being a tanky and large Hedrosaur, technically has a second health bar. Next up is Healing Call, which I am unable to use, as it is a call that increases the healing rate of all members, all party members within 30 meters for 40 seconds, and you must be in a group to use it. Last one is a Rejuvenating Call where all group members within 30 meters heal status effect twice as fast for 30 seconds. Now, last of the call abilities is the survival calls. Now, for the survival command, you have Hustle, a call that increases your group's trotting speed by 20% for 5 minutes. So, to demonstrate, I'm walking, I'm gonna use and I felt it a little bit that uh, I did increase in my movement speed. Up next is Guiding Beacon. All group members within 75 meters receive significantly reduced damage for 2 minutes. However, affected group members will deal no damage for the duration of this buff. This is solely for an escape uh, call. And lastly, Slow Digestion. All group members within 75 meters receive 30% slower food and water drink for 5 minutes. This is a double edged sword as uh, it's good to have when you are starving or getting thirsty, but it will obviously not allow the fine food quest to appear. And with that, I have come to the end of the Lambiosaur TLC. And how I feel about the Lambiosaur TLC is, I actually think that this. Uh, is a very good direction in which a part of Titan is walking towards. Uh, the, the fact that one ability can unlock three other abilities makes it feel more like a spell than anything. And honestly, being a MMORPG, I think that is a really cool feature to have. And I wish that uh, more creatures in the future will have this kind of uh, choose your own ability when you unlock uh, one ability kind of audio. And with that, I shall end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. All stream. Bye.